Hi everyone, my name is Dawn Marie Nesbitt. In this video, I am going to show you how to automate any business. So if you have an offline business, um, such as network marketing, for example, any brick and mortar business and you want to bring it online, how you can automate your business so that you get more freedom of time. The reason why you want to do that is because when you automate a, a business, you have it working for you in the background so you can spend more time doing more of the things you love or focusing your time on some, some other part of your business um, and therefore getting more productivity out of your business. So that's the reason why you would want to automate your business. The benefits of automating your business are that um, you can simply front load the work, so such as setting it up and then leave it, it, leaving it in the background for it to work on your behalf. Um, it is very easy to get your business up and running, to get it started. Um, it is very easy. You want to have an automated business as well, especially if you are doing email marketing. Sometimes people do cold calling, cold messaging. An auto biz automated business helps you to avoid having to do that. So you can send traffic to a link which is provided by the steps that I'm going to show you um, and then when that traffic, traffic is simply people or you know human beings, when that traffic clicks on your link they will then see what your business is about. If they are interested they will opt into your business and then you can follow up um, with with those prospects and turn them into paying customers. So I'm going to show you two platforms here. The first platform is ClickFunnels and the second platform is Aweber. One is your email marketing software, so that's Aweber or rather application because it's not to be downloaded on your computer. It's an internet-based application. So one is your um, email marketing application and the other is the actual um, storefront. So if you think of it as a brick and mortar business, you have a storefront. Um, so you're pretty much inviting people to get more information about what is inside. So you can have, you can take, you can consider um, the capture page as your storefront and you will use ClickFunnels to build your capture page. So I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. In the description box below, I will leave two links to these platforms. If you join with my link, you will get a 14-day free trial with ClickFunnels just to test it out to see whether um, it is something for you, whether you are happy to work with it. ClickFunnels, I find, is very user-friendly. It's quite savvy in the way that they um, produce the website pages. It's very modern and up-to-date. You want to have a modern-looking website. So it is with the time. <coughs> Sorry. It is with the times and I like ClickFunnels because it's very user friendly, easy to use and I will show you that in a moment. Um, with Aweber, if you join with me with my link, you will get a 30 day free trial with Aweber. Um, so you can have set that up, collect your leads and then if after the 30 days you think it's something for you, you can continue on a subscription based basis and that's what these two platforms are for a ClickFunnels and Aweber. So let's start by logging into my account um, with ClickFunnels and I'll show you how to get started by building your storefront. So this is me, Dawn Marie Nesbitt, and the first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to set up an actual funnel from scratch. Now what is a funnel? A funnel, if you think of the shape of a funnel, it has a wide opening. So that is where you would invite people to come into your business to see what it is about. And as the funnel, um, as the people go through the funnel, it gets narrower at the at the end. So you are simply um, flushing out those people who are tire kickers, for example, and keeping those who are actually interested in your business. And all of that will be done on your behalf once you set everything up and then leave it to work for you. So, um. Okay, so the first thing you'd want to do is click Add New. Um, but just for the purposes of this video, I already have um, a 
well, it's a funnel that was set up. I've deleted everything in it. But when you click Add New, you will get to a page that looks like this. Okay, so this is what your funnel will look like. They will have the settings where you can name your funnel. I'm just going to name this Demo. And that's all you need to change in this on this page. And you click Save and Update. Once you've clicked that, you go to Add New Step. So we are basically creating the entrance to our funnel. Let's name this Demo 1, or rather, let's name this Opt-in. It does not matter what the name of your funnel is. No one will see it. This is just for your purposes only. So I'm going to name this Opt-in because this is the page that I am creating for where my prospects are going to see what I want them to see or my storefront. So my prospects will see my storefront. It's going to be inviting. And then I am going to ask them to enter their details so they can opt in. Then you press Create Funnel Step. Once that is done, it will give you a series of templates that you can use to start building out your funnel. Now, you want to, I like um, opt-in pages that are very simple. So um, let's say you are in the weight loss niche, for example, or any type of, of niche, okay, or make money online, whatever business it is you have. You need to think of, you need to be creative and think of a way to um, attract people to your business. So again, if you visualize the idea of a storefront, what is inviting? What is going to bring people inside your store? So the same way that you are on a storefront, you may have certain pieces to, at the window to invite people into, into your store. It's the same way that you are going to create this capture page, something that is going to invite people to enter their information so that they can get more information about your offer or what it is you are prospecting to them. So I like this dark opt-in box. It's very simple, just as the template shows. It's very simple. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. I'll click Select Template. And ClickFunnels, it already has a template, these templates that are pretty much built out for you already. So all you have to do is just simply replace the text, replace the background with whatever you want it to be. I'm then going to click Edit Page. And that will bring me to um, the actual page where I can customize it the way I want it to be for my business. You can do the same for your business and I will go through that showing you exactly what you need to do. Okay, now the way ClickFunnels is uh, um, set up is that you have sections, rows, columns and elements. So how you build out this page is that you can add a, you first need to add a section. So because this page is already built out for you, everything is already added. But let's say you wanted to start a funnel from scratch. The first thing that you will do, maybe I can show you how to start one from scratch instead of using um, a template. So I'm going to go, um, hmm, how can I do this? Let's say if I... I delete that so I'm going to delete that funnel step and I'm going to try and do it for you from scratch but just bear in mind that there are templates that you can use so let's say you could create add, add new step opt-in create funnel step and let's say we are going to do this from scratch Okay, but even if I, even though I'm doing it from scratch, just remember that there are templates that you can use um, already. So, um, is there anyone that I... Ah, so here's one. So, this is a blank start, opt-in blank start. So, let's go with this one. So, it's blank. So, you pretty much need, now need to add your elements and so on. Um, your... Which I will show you how to do anyway. Makes no sense me saying now what it is because you may not understand it. Okay, so we click on edit page. It's loading the editor. 
Okay, so as I mentioned, you have sections, rows, columns, and elements. The first thing that you want to do is add a section. And if you want, if you want to fill up the entire page, you will click full width. Okay, there are different. You can play around with these uh, um, subjects here. Um, but if you want to fill out the entire page, obviously full width, um, you can click that one and drag it in to start where you want to start your website, your web page. So you drop it there, it's building out the section. And then within the section, you want to add a row. Now, let's say for example, I am going to, I am going to create a weight loss niche landing page. So I want a bold headline in my, in my um, header field and then I want an opt-in box at the bottom. So I'm going to click on add, add row. So I only want one column. Um, so I'm going to add that there by just clicking on it. And then once you add row, you add an element and I'm going to add my headline. So that's going to be a bold headline. Okay, so you saw what I did. You first add a section. Within that section, you add a row. So if you only want one headline like this, so if you want two, you can simply add two columns. So let's say, for example, I'm going to delete that. Let's say, for example, you wanted two columns. What it will do is it will add two columns for you so you can add two items within each column. But that's not what I want. I only want one row so I can add one long headline straight across my page. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm just going to add a row, which is one column. Okay, and within that row, I'm going to add an element, which is one headline. If you want to add a subheadline, an image pop up, an image, there are so many things that you can play with here. You can add a video button, input. You can play with all these things, but I'm going to make it as simple as possible and just add a headline. And within my headline, I am going to say, discover remember you want it to be interesting something that piques someone's curiosity so discover how i'm going to put it in all caps discover how you can lose let's say 20 pounds in two weeks with this new weight loss okay and then if you want to add after that headline if you want to add a sub headline you can click that if you want to add another headline you can do that but I'm going to add a sub headline so then I would say here um, these the performance of this patch is such that we can guarantee that you will lose weight in two weeks and then what you want to do is you want to invite your prospects these days you have to tell everyone what to do so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add another element and it's going to be another sub headline I'm going to say Enter your enter your information below to watch our free video on how you can do this. Okay. Um or rather than a free video, enter your information below to receive your free report. And what you will have with your free report is an email. So when they enter their details, you will then send them an email explaining how they can lose um, that weight within two weeks. So it's basically what your product. You will then start talking to them about your product, giving them information about your product. So I hope you can see how this is simply taking an offline business. The same things that you would do with an offline business is what you are going to do online, but now you, you don't have to do it personally. You are going to do this automatically. That's why we are automating your business to help you get 
more free time so you can use that time to focus on other parts of your business or to spend that time doing what you love the most. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, so we have enter your information to, to receive your free report. The next thing that we are going to add is we're going to add another element. Um, if I can get this to show up, we're going to add a new element. And what we're going to put under this element is something that is going to catch your prospects information. And the way you would do that is you would put an input box. So you want to put a box here to catch your prospects information. So this one here is for the email address. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add to customize or customize the settings so that instead of email address, I want to put their name. So I'm going to click on the settings tab. So basically how you do that is you just go here until it's orange. So you can see that there are color schemes for each of these items. So for section, it's green, just like this. For rows, it's blue, like this. And for the elements, so like your headlines, your opt-in boxes, and so on, it's orange. So for email, for here, for this box, I'm going to go to settings. And then I don't want this to be email. I want this to put the input type to be name. So I want their first name. What I find, I mean, you can, you can um, customize these boxes however you want, but you can see that there is a lot of information that you can get from these boxes. So if you want their full, full name, first name, last name, email address, phone number, you can simply just stack them up. So keep adding these boxes and stack them up. So if you want to get their first and last name, email address, phone number, address, etc., you can add those um, options to your opt-in box. But for this particular page, I just want their first name. Um, I'm going to say your name here. And you can see that when you change this settings, it changes here as well. Your name here. Yes, it is. Well, some people may not want to put their name, so you can state whether you want it to be required or not required. For this video, I'm going to say not required, so it's not mandatory for them to enter it. And if you want it to be a bit more personalized, you may want to have it as required. So you can select whatever you want there. If you want to increase the font size, you can do that. But I'm going to leave it at 16. That's a good font size. If you want to select a font, you can change whatever font you want. I'm going to leave it at the font that it is. Um, and also the great thing about ClickFunnels is that it optimizes your page so that it can fit on either desktop, tablet, or mobile phone. You want something that's mobile friendly and it's automatic. So you don't have to worry about, um, about designing your page only with mobile devices in mind. It automatically does that for you. So there's a lot of things that it automatically does for you and that's what I like about it. So the next thing that we are going to do is we can add a, well, what you can also do is you can, let's see if we can um, reduce the size of this box because it's a little bit too big. So if you bear with me, I'm going to see how you can reduce the size of this box okay um, in the advanced settings you can there are other things that you can play with as well so um, submit on enter means that when somebody presses the enter button on the type right um, the keyboard it is going to enter the information or submit the page um, you know what I'm going to do I'm actually going to delete this I'm going to delete this and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new row I'm going to add a new row I'm going to add that box in separately and the reason why I'm going to add a new row is because the row will allow me to um, adjust the width of the box I could not adjust the width of the box because the width of the box is in proportion to the width of this row so I'm going to just add a new row and add a box again. So you will see what I'm talking about. So let's just customize this. So we go to settings. We put first name here. Your name here. I'm going to leave everything as is. If you want to go to advanced, 
and play with these settings, you can do that as well. Um, there's nothing that I want to change here, so I'm going to leave that here. So let me show you how to adjust the width. If you go onto blue and you adjust these settings, you can see size and position is at 100. So now I'm going to decrease the width. So that's why I wanted to create the element in the row so I can adjust the width of this box. I'm going to put this down to maybe, that's about a good size there. Okay, so your name here, I'm going to add another box. And this time I am going to add your email address. So a second box. And what you can also do is, as you can see, there are two settings, there are four settings. You can move this. So if you want to move it down or on top, you can do that. Um, so down, or you can either put it below email address. So I'm going to leave that there, just showing you settings. You can either, you can also clone this. If you want to copy it, you can press clone. If you want to delete it, you just delete it. So I want email address to be put there. I'm going to change the input type so that ClickFunnels knows what information is needed in that box. It says email address. You want it to, to remain as required because you want somewhere to send the information to. And I'm going to leave everything as is. So keep everything simple. So two boxes, name and email address. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, I can add another row. So um, I can add a button to click submit. So you can either add another element or you can add another row and put the button in its own row. But I'm just going to add another row, sorry, another element. And this is going to be my button. Okay, and I'm going to customize this. So I am going to say, um, enter your information below to receive your free report. Um, I'll put get instant access now. Okay, I don't, you can put a subtext if you want. So you will see the subtext which says, um, ensure information will be sent to the email address. Please check for accuracy. Okay, you can increase the font size. Yes, I want the font size to be increased. And then you can also increase the button color. I'm going to put this button color as yellow. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to say what's going to happen when somebody clicks that button so you can set the action and in this case you want them the form to be submitted so if you want for example for a pop-up to open the pop-up is maybe something additional that you want to show to them or something additional that you want more information from you can add a pop-up if you want to just submit the form so that it takes them to the next page you can do that if you want them to go to a website, let's say, for example, you are you are part of direct sales and you want to take them to your direct sales landing page, you can do that as well. Um, but for now, what I am going to do is I am going to um, I'll probably send them just for as an example, send them to. Well, actually, I'm going to submit the form and then I'm going to show you that when they submit the form, you can then send them to whatever page that you desire. So submitting the form will submit this, the information that they put here into your email marketing system, which is we are going to use Aweber and I'll show you how to connect that. So that is pretty much it. Your form is ready. Um, I'm just going to delete this. Okay, what you can also put here maybe is like, uh, I'm just going to add a column. And what you can put here is a subheadline. So you may want to add, for example, a privacy policy, terms and conditions, or contact me button contact me information. So if you want to add that down there, you can do that. Okay. Um, so that is pretty much your, that what your form would look like. If you want to change the background of this, so instead of it just being plain white, 
how you would change the background is you go to settings and then you go to background and here is where you will here is where you will select whatever background image you want to add so if you have downloaded images um, you can download whatever image you want to put as your background or you can select from the background schemes that they already have um, in this case I'm just going to go simple very simple I'm going to add a blue background I'm going to select the the blue background that I want so I'll go go with this one and then I'll click add image and then that goes to the back just like so okay so it's very simple like that okay um, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to connect because when this page isn't quite finished yet what we want to do now is connect the our Latin our landing page our opt-in page to our email autoresponder um, now why you will do that is because when people enter their email address they are saying that they want more information from you um, and you want to make sure that you are collecting those email addresses because you want to follow up with them they uh, don't expect people to put, make any purchases from you in the beginning it is going to take time for them to get more information about what your product is and what you have to offer so the reason why you are collecting their email address is so you can follow up with them in the background and this is where e the email marketing software is going to come into play so I'm going to log into my Aweber account and what we will do is we will create a list to connect to our landing page and your list is just basically the um, the list where people are going to subscribe to so when they subscribe you can send them email follow-ups so I'm going to show you these are the lists that I have already I'm going to show you um, what the email sequence looks like so when you log into Aweber and you create your list you can then go to messages then legacy follow-up series so these are the email series that you will be creating for your own um, prospects but they are going to be customized however you want and you create that you front load that um, it can be a lot of work in the beginning but think about it. if you do all the work in the beginning then you can simply set this up forget it set it and forget it so that's what the main purpose is to set it and forget it right so you can put whatever it is you want in your own email list um, to do that um, I'm just going to show you how you will create a list so the first thing that you need to do is once you have logged into your Aweber account of course it will be blank and you will arrive to the home screen like this what you want to do is you want to start by creating a list so I am going to go to manage lists and then create a list okay so you would enter your company name your company website your address because it's important that you include an address at the bottom of your email so just in case any of your subscribers need to get in touch with you that is where they will contact you if you want to use a PO box then by all means you can do so because not a lot of people like to give out their um, their real addresses so it's okay to use a PO box but you just need some way for them to get in touch with you if they need to you also put your the sender's name and your email address so if they want to respond to you they can do that and then you click next step now what do you want to name your list for this video I'm going to name this demo and then you here is where um, your this is only for your information your subscribers do not see this then what you would want to do next is you would want to um, describe the list so this is what people will see your subscribers will see this description so you you can put whatever it is you want if you're in a weight loss the um, weight loss niche I'm just going to put weight loss you can name it whatever you want if it's the name of your company um, you can tell them why they subscribe to this list so they know exactly why and just as a reminder as to how they got onto your list and then you click next step 
then you want to confirm do you want your subscribers to confirm their subscription um, basically what that means is that uh, you are going to ask them whether they really want to receive um, emails from you now I mean people say that uh, there are benefits there are pros and cons of having of asking your subscriber to confirm um, their subscription some people mean opt in for more information but may not confirm their subscription and if they do not confirm their subscription Aweber does not see them as a confirmed subscriber and so they do not get on your list other people disable this option because they prefer to have those people who opted in as uh, um, people on their list so that they can market to but I always say that qual quantity is better than quality so whilst you may get some people who may not confirm their subscription and therefore do not end up on your list. Um, you only want those people who actually and genuinely want more information from you. So it's a good idea to leave um, the confirmed your confirm your subscription option enabled. If you do not want to leave it enabled, then I will show you how you can disable it. Um, so we will click confirm provided you are happy with the pre-formatted message that Aweber provides to you, you can click approve and create list. So what that is now going to do is that's going to create your list. Your list is now ready, but actually not quite. Your list is, your list is not yet ready, but it is placed as you can see here in the list of lists. So this is the list that you are going to market to, whichever list you have named yours. Now, um, remember I said about confirming your subscription. If you do not want them to confirm the subscription, you go to list options, then list settings. And in the list settings, you come down to confirm the opt-in. And then you click off. So that is how you get um, the Aweber to not send out that confirmation subscription email asking them to confirm whether or not they want to be entered in your list. So if it is off, anyone who enters their information into this page here will be placed on your list. They will not be asked to confirm their subscription. So depending on what you want for your business, you can either leave it on or off. So in this case, we are going to turn it off so you can see what happens. It's turned off and then you click save settings. Okay, so now before we can connect this list to Aweber, sorry, to the ClickFunnels landing page or capture page, we all just need to take one step further with ClickFunnels. We need to create a sign up form. If you do not take this step, then the people who opt into this page will not get onto your list. So this is the last step that you must take. And it's quite simple. All you have to do is just press create your first sign up form. There is nothing that you need to edit or add to on this form. So all you will do is simply go to save your form and then just press go to step two and then click again save your form and then go to step three and that's it. Okay. So now this um, list, this list has a sign up form and now you can connect your landing page to Aweber. So to connect the landing page or the capture page to Aweber, what we are going to do is we're going to click on settings, then integrations, and you will see that it says not connected. You simply click select integration. Well, actually, before you do that, we need to integrate, we need to add Aweber as um, an integrated application on ClickFunnels. To do that, what you would do is you would exit this. Okay, then you will go, once you have created your account, you will go into account and then integrations there. Okay, and you need to add Aweber here. So all you do is add new integration. You select whatever it is you want. In this case, let's say it's Aweber. And then you select integration type and you see Aweber there. And then you just press create 
um, connect. I already have it connected, so that's why it says connect. So what you will do is just click the button connect and it will set it up automatically. So there's no, um, no code or anything that you need to get in order to connect both ClickFunnels A and Aweber. It's automatic. So very simple to use. It's a simple platform, which is why I like it. Most days, a lot of people just want some simplicity. So once Aweber is connected, Aweber will then show up in your funnel. So we'll go back to funnels. Okay, so this is the demo one that I created. Go back to edit page. Go to settings, integrations. And then select integration. It will appear here. Select eWeber. Select an integration so you integrate existing form. And then you add to list. Now, when you are starting, it's more than likely that you will have nothing here. As you can see, there isn't the demo list in here. So what we will do is we will refresh list from API. Basically, they, they are now connected. So ClickFunnels and Aweber are now connected. So they are talking to each other. Aweber is saying, oh, she just added a new form. So here is the details for that form. They will talk to each other and then you will see them appear. Simple as that. And then it's connected. So what's going to happen is that when people enter their e email address, their email address is going to connect to Aweber and you will see it in your list of subscribers. So that is connected. So we have everything connected. Our first name, email, it submits the page to get to, the, to your um, email marketing application. The last thing that we want to do now is when they submit their page, we want to take them to a destination URL. Um, and to do that, you will go on settings and then the general tab. And on submit, where do you want to send them? You will send them to a page to um, what, whatever website you want to send them to, whether it's your direct sales website, whether it's your own website that you created. But the purpose of this page is to get information, collect your prospects, contact details so you can market to them later. So the website I am going to put here now, um, I used to be a um a, a direct sales um distributor for it works i am no longer a distributor for it works so i'm not promoting it works but this is just uh, for a demonstration only that's why i'm using this um, form so you can see what i am speaking about when i go through all the information and test out that it works properly okay so you put whatever website you want there i'm just using my it works dot com and then you want to make sure that you save. So every time that you are building this landing page, you want to make sure that you are saving those details um, while well, saving the information each time so you, that you do not lose your work. And that is pretty much it. That is all that you need to do in order to set up your landing page, your capture page, and connect it to an email marketing system. Um, there are just some basic things. I'll just go through. If you I mean, this is for more advanced, the more advanced level. Um, if you want to add SEO information, like to retitle your landing page, that is the, the title that appears um, on, I'm just going to raise that up here. That's a, the, type, the title that you would see here. So, for example, let's say we're calling this weight, lose weight. I'll put lose weight now. You can see that it has changed up there. So, I guess that is... For Google purposes, if you want your page to be found easier by Google, um, it's best to have these SEO metadata fields filled out. Um, so I'm just going to put lose weight. Now, again, this is only for demonstration purposes. You put your keywords, um, you, the name, um, who, is, who built this page. You can put your own name. And for the social image, that's just the image just like here. Okay, so you can see that Aweber has its own. Um, ClickFunnels has its own. So if you want to put that social image, that's what it is for. Okay. Again, I'm just going to save that information. And um, that is it. So 
let's just test at this out now. So we're going to test this out and make sure that everything works fine. What I am going to do is I'm going to preview this in an incognito window. Okay, so what you will do is the link, I will show you where to get the link that you will share with your prospects. So this link now, you are going to promote that link, put it all over the internet, on your website, on your blogs, post it in, um, on business cards, wherever you want people to enter their information. I will show you where to get that link. You wouldn't use this link. This is not the link that you want to use. I will show you where to get that link. So we are going to test it out to make sure that it works properly. I'm just going to use some dummy information here. I'm going to use a uh, demo email instruction at gmail.com. I'm just going to press get instant access and make sure that goes to the myitwits.com website. Ooh, what's happening here? Let's see. Uh, not secure. Myitwits.com. Okay, maybe let me just see. Okay, so we just had an error um, with the, the website that it was directed to. So what I did is I came back into settings. I came back into general. And that's why it's so important. I'm glad that that happened. That's why it's so important to test your capture pages before it goes live because you do not want to be missing out on all the leads that could potentially be entered into this capture page. So that is how you would test it. And what I did is I went back and I secured the website by putting the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. So remember, I only had www. I put the HTTP um, colon forward slash forward slash before the website. And it's always best to actually copy and paste. So this is the website. I just simply copied this link and then placed it onto this, um, into this field here. I then pressed save. So what we are going to do now is we are going to test this again. So preview, open link in new window. Okay. I'm going to enter my details again. And then I'm going to click get instant access. Okay, Aweber wants to confirm that I am not a robot. That's fine. So I click I'm not a robot. And then I'm just going to do all this verification. And as you can see, it has directed me to the ItWorks website. Okay, so now what you want to check is that the email address did um, go into your Aweber marketing system. So to do that, we just click here, into Aweber. I'm going, just going to log out and log back in just to make sure that you know, there's nothing with my cookies or anything like that. And we're going to make sure that it, the email address was entered into the correct list. Okay. So it's on demo. So we go to manage subscribers or we go to subscribers here and then manage subscribers. Okay, and if everything went well, we can see that all the emails were captured. Okay, so that is how you get, uh, that is how you will create or automate your business with ClickFunnels and Aweber. Now, what you want to do is these emails that you are capturing, you want to send them emails or follow up messages. And how you would do that is you'll go to messages, click legacy follow up series, and then you create your message where um, through the drag and drop email builder where you will follow up by creating an email list of emails that you want to send to them on a daily or weekly basis and follow up with your contacts. So 
Um, I hope this will be helpful to you and your business to getting you started online. If you like this video, then please um, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel where I provide more information about online marketing and uh, please use the links in the description box below to get your free trial for free trials for Aweber and ClickFunnels. So um, again, Aweber with Aweber with the link, you will get a 30 day free trial where you can test out Aweber and see whether it is for you. And with ClickFunnels, you get a 14 day free trial. Um, so uh, this uh, setup will be easy to implement. All you now have to do is I will show you the link that you would want to promote. So let's go back to exit. And so the link that you want to promote, if you click what is the funnel URL, you can click uh, the question sign, the question mark. And this is the link that you want to promote, not the link that um, I showed you here. Not that one. Okay, you want to promote this link. Okay, so send traffic to, fu to funnel URL and it will take you to the first page of your funnel, which is the landing page that you just created. So this is a, an easy step-by-step step-by-step uh, um, step plan to show you how to create a landing page. Um, it's only creates one capture page, a simple capture page to collect emails of your prospects and then takes them to your offer page or to a page where you provide more information. You will then use the email marketing application to create the emails that you will send to your prospects, emails about your offer, about, uh, um, about the product or service that they may be interested in. And like they say, the fortune is in the follow-up. Um, when you build a relationship with those people that subscribe to your list, eventually they become paid customers. And that is how um, you can take an offline business, one where you would do all the work yourself, to an online business where you have these two powerful systems working in your favor. If you set it up how I create, how I showed you in this video, um, it will be an easy breeze for you. You can pretty much front load it, set it, and then forget it. It will be the best investment that you make for your business because then you can go and market that link. You can promote that link anywhere on the internet. When someone clicks that link, they're going to come to your website and get more information from you. You don't have to do any cold calling, cold messaging. Simply send traffic to this link and then you are set. So um, again, the links are in the description to get your free trials. If you have any questions, please do reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Um, if you want more information about, you know, about uh, how to specifically use a function on ClickFunnels or Aweber, then please message me. I've been using these platforms more than a year. Um, so reach out to me, happy to help. My contact details would be in, this, in the description box below. So thank you very much for watching my video. And I will see you in the next one.